This is a how-to guide for Patty's Realism mod for both using and installing the mod. If you're not sure what Patty's Realism mod is, there's a link to the trailer, but very quickly it adds tire wear, heat and custom tires to the game, as well as fuel consumption and refueling. So you're going to want to get into the ZML Discord, there's a link in the description. Before you start, you're going to need to install the latest version of the mod loader. So you can currently find that in the announcements channel and there's separate guides on how to install this both here within this post as well as a how to install channel, a couple of videos here. And if you're having any problems, check the FAQs and this should help you. There's also some help channels if you're struggling. Once you've got those sorted, head to public releases where you'll find the latest version of the Realism mod, so PRM here, version 1.1.0. Click the link, I'll open up this page, and then you should have a PRM.zm file. If we click that and download it, and in our downloads folder, just pick up the file here and copy it. You're gonna to need to find then your CarX root directory, so I've got this pinned, but it'll be somewhere in your Steam apps common CarX, and you should already have this CML folder from installing that earlier. Head in there, go to mods, and I've already got a version here, but you'll be pasting in this folder. Once you're in CarX, just open up any session. So we're just in a training session here offline, but you can do it online as well. Open up the CML with F8. In the toolbox under PRM, you can check the current mod version you're on. So we're on 1.1.0. You can also check the default keybinds, which is in this menu, and you can change these if you like. So by default, you'll have minus for menu equals for a player menu. You can have an engine off or on key, and this warm up mode will come unbound by default. If you want to remove a key binding, just press it, press backspace, and if you want to add one, just select it, press the key that you like. We'll start off with the main menu. So press F8 to close the ML, and then the minus key or whatever you've chosen for the main menu. You can click and drag and move these around so you can have them on screen while you're driving if you like. You can also change the size of it with the UI scale options. And then when you're ready to enable the mod, just press this button here and you can turn the mod off and on anytime in the middle of a session if you want. The main features of the mod are under settings. So we'll start off with the tire hood as that's probably the most important part of this that you're going to want on almost all the time as you're driving. So this little UI shows you your current tire durability, which is these four bars in the center. So they're all green because these tires are brand new. You've got the current tire heat. So they're all blue as these are all cold. And as we're driving along, these are going to change to a green color, then a yellow and red as they start to heat and overheat. If these go black at any point in time, that means the tire is popped and you'll need to replace it. You've also got your fuel gauge here as well. The rest of the settings here, you've got a lift animation. So when you change tires, that's whether or not the car actually lifts off the ground and the wheel will be removed and re-added. If you turn this off, then tire changes will be instant. And you can also change the height of the lift with this bar on the right hand side. Tire durability is whether or not your tires are going to wear down. So these four bars we were talking about before. If you turn that off, then these are going to stay all green. They're never going to wear out. If you turn it on, then these bars will go down and you'll start to feel the effects of that if the tires pop. The ADH altering, this is whether or not the grip of the tire will change along with the tire temperature or the tire durability, depending on how the tires are configured. Tire pressure, whether or not that's affected by heat, whether or not the tires can pop, this sync option is for syncing data with other players. Generally speaking, just leave this on. Uh, you'll only ever need to turn this off if you've got some sort of problem, but for now, just leave it on. We've got a fuel consumption option, so you can decide if you want that to just the fuel to last forever or not. The tire head we just talked about. Refuel on engine start. This is when you've run out of fuel and your engine turns off. When you refuel, if this is on, then the engine will start up straight away. If it's off, then you'll need to bind a key in the ZML menu that we talked about before to turn your engine back on. The final option then is the option to remove fuel. So we'll cover that when we talk about refueling in a minute. 
when you're ready to change your tyres, open up the preset. That's this menu here. At the moment, these are the eight tyres that are shipped with this version of the mod. These will change, so we're not going to cover what each one does. But when you're ready to pick your tyre, just apply to all. So if I pick the second option here, you'll see these all change. Or you can change specific tyres one at a time. So if I pick these eBay tyres, and I'll put these just on the rear. You can also decide if you want to have used tires or brand new. So this random durability option, if this is red, you'll get brand new tires like we've already got. If you pick random durability, you'll get ones that are part used and we'll show what that does. And you can also do that with individual tires. So for now, we'll just change this right rear tire with a random durability. In our main menu, so we'll just choose which tires you want to change. So we'll just do this right rear and press reset tires you'll see the car lift and the wheel will be removed and then there's our new tire so you'll see in the tire hood now because i picked random durability this has already come with some life taken off it and that's going to affect how much grip i've got because i've got the rest of the mod turned on quickly then close this down so we'll cover the warm-up menu. So before we bound this key here to H, this is generally going to be used for competition. So you're not going to want to use this in normal servers. If I press the H key, then you'll see I've got 30 seconds. And while this is active, the tires are going to warm up much quicker than they normally would. So you'll see the color of the tire changing there from green up into yellow. And then we're already overheating them now in the red. Once this timer runs out, then you won't be able to use that option again for another two minutes, and that's to stop people from sort of using that in the middle of a competition to try and gain an advantage. For refueling, we press the minus key again to bring all our menus back. So the remove fuel option that we talked about before, this is gonna allow this slider here, which is how much fuel I want. I can put any amount of fuel I like, so I can remove fuel. So if I believe it here, press refuel. And if we watch our tire hood, we'll see this come down in a second. There. Now if I untick the remove fuel option, so I can't remove any more fuel now with this bar, I can only add fuel back in. So if I top it up a little bit, press refuel again. And there we go. Okay, now we'll briefly go through the player menu. So I'll just press minus to remove these other options. It'll be bound to the equals key by default. That opens up a playlist. Because we're offline, we're not seeing any options here. But you would see a list of players, the version of the mod that they're on, whether or not they've got it disabled with a yes or no. And you can also select players and see their current durability. And that is a general overview of all the features of Patty Realism mod as at the time of recording. If you have any problems, just head over to the ZML Discord and there's a section at the bottom specifically for PRM where you can ask questions and look for help.